Hello friends, I'm Peter SVP from Bulgaria, the developer of Colorblind Effects DC Saturation, a post-apocalyptic puzzle platformer in Lithuania. Help the Splatians blend the stolen colors back to the world and follow the plans of the evil. Explore Splatman, squish slimes, discover upgrades, solve puzzles and overcome challenges while figuring out the way to shut down the evil government project Desaturation. This is the beginning of my ultimate desaturation guide, a series that explains everything about desaturation. Everything about these chapters, challenges and items. If you got stuck on a certain puzzle, this guide will help you resolve it and proceed. I will even tell you some secrets, tips and tricks. Today we will be talking about chapter 1, the prologue. This chapter is available for free on Steam, so go get it and try it now. The game starts with us paying a visit to the mansion, the home of the player character, a Splatian named by you. This level's main purpose is to teach you the basic game controls, go left, jump and break the table and climb some ladders. Pay attention to the room with the giant keyhole, you will need a key for it, and this key is hanging on the second floor above the vestibule. But the ladder seems out of reach, your jump is just not high enough. So go to the leftmost room and pull the crate under that ladder. You can now get the key, go to the roof and pull the lever to drop the bridge. You're done with the mansion. Going out of it, you'll first meet your pet slime, Squishy, that will tell you about the key and the roof. And then you're ready to go to the campfire and meet your friends. Sparkle, the nerd scientist, will be late as usual, but he did something awesome. He created a toy gun that shoots rainbow powder, altering the essences of everything. In the desaturation war, by essence I usually mean color, but essence can also mean mood, knowledge and energy, among other things. With that done, we transition to the ceremony hall. This is just a cutscene that introduces Wardashen and his minions. Wardashen, unhappy about Splatian's progress, decides to consume the essence of the world, depriving it of everything good. Then a new day comes, and we're back the mansion. But now, in a world without color, you will instantly notice that while the world is completely white, some objects are popping in oversaturated color, hinting not just about their presence, but also what should be done. You see the yellow keyhole in the Splatian's bedroom. The yellow key is hanging in its usual place, the crate is where it belongs, but the mansion is locked by a blue keyhole. Pull the crate under the ladder, get the key, climb back into your bedroom and open the drawer. Two water beans will come out of the drawer, one clear and one blue. Press the interact key to throw your key into those beans. You need to throw the key into the clear water first to make it white, then throw it into the blue bin to make the key blue. If you throw the yellow key into the blue bin, it will become green because colors get mixed. With the blue key in your hands, Go back to the ground floor, unlock the door, and once again you will meet Squishy and then Sparkle. Sparkle will task you to go to his laboratory, the Spark University, to help him with something. You may have noticed this room with the ladder and those red blocks. You cannot go down yet because you need an item that you obtain later in the game. Desaturation is a Metroidvania game which means that it's not strictly linear and you need items or abilities in order to be able to access new areas. The prologue chapter is linear, but this will change as soon as you complete it. After the talk with Sparkle, we end up in the water station. This level introduces the slimes, the cover splattering mechanics and the quantum labs secure scan access control devices. When you jump on top of a slime, the slime dies, your cover changes and you collect some slime essence. The slime essence will be needed later in the game to purchase stuff from the Eden store. Don't focus on collecting it unless you're an achievement hunter. Use the sprint key to jump over a short pit and then stomp the blue and the yellow slimes. The blue crystal blocks will destabilize and break. These crystal blocks break when you paint them with their matching color. They won't break in any other circumstances. You will then see a ladder going down the hill and if you want to, you can visit the central underground station. As you see, the underground is broken and you only get captured by the cultists there to be kicked out of the station back to the ladder. 
Back to that ladder, you will see a blue, red and magenta water pools, followed by a secure scan device. Swatians have two colors, top and bottom. You need to colorize yourself to match the colors of the scanner. Fully submerge in the blue pool, then jump into the red pool. Now properly colorized, stay in the front of the secure scan device and press your interact key. The quantum progress gate door will be opened and you can proceed to the sewer. Please note that these doors, once opened, will never close. Don't mind the ladders above the green pool yet. Just jam in it, you will see this ladder blocked by yellow crystal blocks and another secure scan device that needs magenta top and green bottom covers. Backtrack to the magenta pool and now, properly colorized, do the ladder parkour challenge. After you scan yourself, go to the pipes room and press interact on the yellow valve. The ladder blocking is removed and you can climb it. Go right, squat the black slime and gently push the spikes to break them. Don't jump on them because you will die. Going even more right, you will see another ladder going into a hole. Climb to the top of the ladder and while holding sprint, press jump and hold right to jump over the spikes. And that's the end of the water station level. Next is the library. This level introduces you to the key parts of the Color Blend FX War and gives you the game map. It's also the first true puzzle level in the game that requires some out of the box thinking. Here you will meet Malone who will task you to obtain the map. The library is non-linear interconnected level by itself. The first thing you need to do is to find all the books that you can get. Books contain items that you collect into your briefcase. Here you see an overview map of the library with locations of each book marked. The slime's book is right after the reception. It gives you a small slime essence packet. Then the geology book is in the basement and gives you a topaz. Renina's book gives you a key piece. Designing a Metroidvania book gives you a map sticker. The rainbow powder book gives you a pack of rainbow powder. And the most important and well hidden book is on the roof. The white book just gives itself to you. Ignore the magenta book and the brown book as you don't have the abilities to reach them yet. As you have guessed, your jump will be upgraded later in the game. Now, you have everything in your briefcase and you can proceed with solving the puzzle. First, go to the water bin in the upper hole under the clock tower and use the rainbow powder pack. This will turn the water rainbow and you can paint the book in it. Go to Malone on the rightmost room. He will congratulate you and give you the second key piece. And you can now paint the two key pieces in rainbow. Press escape, go to your briefcase screen and use the combine feature to create the rainbow key. Then climb again to the clock tower, use the slime essence packet to melt the green crystal, then use both the rainbow key and the two pass to unlock the chest. Surprise! You've only got a blank parchment that you can combine with the Metroidvania map sticker and now you've got yourself the Splatland map. Go back to Mawon and talk to him. He will give you the cyan key and will complain that it no longer works, but that's a very easy task for you. Just go to the toilets, jump into the clear water, then into the yellow water, then into the red water and you've got yourself a deep orange key that will open the door and that's all about the library. It's time to visit the next area of the prologue chapter, the Spark Forest. This is one long, continuous level that will challenge you with some small things. It should be straightforward, just follow what comes next and you will be able to complete it without needing any much help. You will see yet inaccessible path covered by blue blocks and a coin hike in the air that you still can't access. When you reach this area here, you will see a pipe that spawns magenta slimes. You also notice that the way is blocked by yellow crystal blocks. You will have to kill the magenta slime to break the blocks in front of the pipe, then you will need to lure the magenta slimes into the yellow pool, and with slimes now yellow, you can melt the yellow blocks and proceed onward through the pink lake. Note that the slimes will not kill you if you share a color with them. Deep into the forest, the atmosphere becomes creepy, but it isn't something that should bother or scare you. Just kill the slime to melt the blocks and kill it again for more blocks and for more. 
Once you climb the ladder and go out of the cave, you will see these four paint pools and this area with color scanners. Pay attention to where the cables are connected, not what's on the screen. When you pass through the scanners, a rain starts and the slimes become very aggressive. Dodge them and go onward to reach the Spark University entrance. The big blue jelly slime that protects it is technically a boss, but it's a very easy one. Stomp it several times, collect the coins and pay for opening the door. With this, the first episode of the official developer provided ultimate desaturation guide is concluded. If you like this video, subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, X and TikTok. I'm Peter SVP on every social media. If you don't own desaturation, feel free to buy it on Steam, Itch or Humble and of course tell your friends if you really like the game. If you stream or make let's plays, I will be very happy if you can help this saturation reach more people. It's really not easy to publish a video game alone without the help of the big game publisher, so I really rely on every one of you to help me telling the world about this saturation. And now, it's time for some secrets. If you don't want these powers, feel free to stop watching here. In the first level, you can jump from the roof to get an achievement. You can also name your character with a name already used in the game war to get another achievement. In the mansion, you can directly jump from the top and land on Squishy for both skipping the entire level and getting a nice achievement. In Spark Forest, you can go deeper in the pink lake to get some coins. 